Hey, I'm Brian. And I'm Colin. Welcome to the Brew House Light Head to Head Challenge. We went up against a leading light beer and won on taste, bringing home the title of best light beer in Canada twice in three years. Now it's time to find out how else we stack up. Mano a mano. Cano to cano. And a series of tough, grueling, hype-busting challenges. Today we have a very scientific challenge. We're gonna find out which beer can get the coldest. Today we're doing the cold challenge. I've been hearing some really crazy stuff lately that some beer companies are saying that their beer is colder than others. But as far as I know, cold is cold. Agreed, Brian. And you know, some cans will even tell you when the beer inside of it's cold. Although we here at Brewhouse Light still like to go by the old fashioned test of touch. And as such, we've had a can of the leading light beer with a can of our Brewhouse Light sitting in a trout trap at the bottom of a glacier fed creek for the last six weeks. And we've been keeping them cold here on this dry ice so we can put them here on Colin and see which one's the coldest. So Colin, your nipples please. My, my nipples? Your nipples please. Now the nipple is notoriously one of the most sensitive areas on the human body, and this should give us a very accurate reading as to which can really is the coldest. Well, Brian, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little intimidated right now, but I'll do anything for a head-to-head -head challenge. I'm ready. Which one's the coldest? Which one's the coldest? Brian, you had them both a dry eyes! Uh, the f equally cold, they're equally cold. Huh. So, it turns out when kept at the exact same temperature, both beers are the same coldness. <laughs> Who the <to> funk? <laughs> but if you're looking to taste what best tastes like, grab a brew house light. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for another brew house light. Head to head challenge. Blue